Ah. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Oh my god, what is this? Someone... Broken burgers is not really for me, but uh, I respect the hustle of people that is working there, huh? Yeah. To be honest, the only reason I work there is uh, you meet a lot of new faces and uh, yes. you build good rapports with people, you know? Exactly. It's all about the connections. Huh? Yeah, and you know me, Sergio. I've always been a businessman. So the more uh, the more faces I know, the more uh, customers I'll have in the future, you know? Exactly. Let's cross the road, mister. Let's cross the road. Let's see. Oh, we can... You wanna go talk on this roof? Sure, why not? Come, come. You're a bit hands on, okay? So be careful. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie, Sergio. Since I only have one hand now, this right hand has gotten so much stronger. Ah, look at that. Look at the city. Right in our element, huh? Right in our element. What you been keeping busy with, Sergio? Little this, a little that. Keeping a low profile. Low profile, love that for you. I'm not really the type to be the loudest in the room. The loudest in the room is always the weakest. Mm -hmm. And they're the most likely to get uh, snipped off, you know? Exactly, and I can see that's going to happen to a couple of people already. Mm-hmm. What about you, mister? I've been, uh, you know, doing a couple things, you know. Making some connections, talking to people, chit-chatting, you know. Moving a couple things. Ah. But, you know, moving, moving behind the scenes, you know? Yes, I, I guess you could say the same with me as well. Mm-hmm. I've been keeping my circle very small and just moving quietly. Love that. That's the way you have to do it. That's how you have now, to do it. A couple of days ago, you said to me, Mr. Sergio, if I can help you with anything, mm -hmm. let me know. Give me a call, correct? Of course. Mm. Now, there is something I do need to know mm -hmm. if you're willing to help me. Yeah, what is that? If I know I'll... Uh... I'll, uh, I'll try my best to help you. Well, Sergio is not a jack of all trades, okay? Mm. I don't have uh, many professions. I'm, uh, I didn't go to school. Mm. I can't multitask. After all, I'm a man. Mm. I'm, uh, I like the smell of ganja. I like the look of ganja. I like mm. the taste of ganja. Mm? Yeah. But you when can't... it comes to Sergio... Mm. Ganja is going to be my best friend. Okay, okay. I... So what I do want to know, mister, mm. if you're willing to tell me, how do I dry this ganja? So people are still trying to figure that out. Um, you can you can dry it with a rack. Um, but it takes a very long time. I think it takes about three to four days. Three to four days. Yeah. And how much ganja can you put on the racks? I think it was three or four uh, plants. If I'm not mistaken. On each rack. Hmm. Yeah. So, I know some and people have only... been experimenting with, um, you know, the heaters, the fans, the mm. humidifiers. But um, I don't think anyone's found uh, the right balance of uh, humidity and uh, heat and, you know air i see so mm -hmm. i have one already so i just put the weed on there and it's eventually going to dry out after a few days yeah eventually um i'm gonna mm. go meet some with some friends who are uh double dabbling with the ganja stuff so if you want ah. after i go chit chat with them if i figure something out or if they tell me any more i can uh, i can talk to you question though how much do you buy that rack for don't mind me asking. Well, I'm aware that you were selling them for around 3500 correct? Uh, yeah, the price dropped to 3250 now. Ah. But that's only for my boys. 
I got mine for 3100. Oh, that's actually a really good price. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, okay. That's good, that's good. Yeah, I think well, um, cost is like yes. 29. Yes, I think it's around that, yes. Yeah. So okay. look, Mr. Patar. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've been keeping my circle very small and I, I'll be honest, I haven't really been mingling with too many people. I've been doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. Um. Look, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Of course. You're tickling me, I tickling you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Look, look, look. I will tickle you like this one. Ah, sure. <laughs> <me. laughs> oh, <laughs> stop. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I stop, I stop, I stop, I stop. Okay. Oh, where was it? Ganja drying. You scratch my back, I tickle you, you tickle me. Yes. So, mm -hmm. you keep me up to date with any information you find out about this one. Mm -hmm. And I'll keep you up to date with any information I find out about this one. Sounds good to me, Sergio. Like I said, Mr. Patar, I haven't been... I don't want many people knowing what I'm doing. No, I... For uh, a reason. I don't know what you're doing, Sergio, if anyone asks. I don't know what you're doing, what you're up to. I haven't seen you in a while. Well, you've seen me in a while. You just don't know. I'm just Mr. Lonely, eh? I'm so lonely. I have nobody to call oh, my own. own. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No, I like okay. that too, Sergio. And um, to be honest, I'm... Uh, I mean... You know, some things don't leave my life, so I'm uh, I'm planning to get into a lot of business and a lot of uh, a lot of things on the street. But I wanna I wanna make sure I do things properly this time around. You know, properly this time around. What does that mean? You know, no more uh, deliveries out of the trunk. No more this. No more that. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah. So... Well, I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know. I. You must be a smart man, Mr. Patar, with all these business things you get into, hmm? Mm hmm But you know, Sergio's been around the blockings. I'm pretty sure Sergio could always teach you a thing or two. I mean, who knows? Maybe, um, you lend me a hand, I lend you a hand. Exactly. After all, it seems like you need a hand, hmm? Yeah, yeah. That being said, Sergio, you find any cockroach that, um, that, uh, you know, you're gonna put the rest. Uh, if they've got a good hand. I've uh, been talking oh. to a couple of doctors and uh, some of them oh. are willing to do a, you know, a underground operation for us. So, you ever see a cockroach oh. you want to put to, put to, put to, let me know. Yes. Okay, I would bear that in hand, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna mind, get my I hand mean. back. I'm gonna get it yes. back. It might not be mine. Of course. But I'll get it back. Yes. After all, it's better to have both hands than one, huh? Mm -hmm. Gonna have your hands full in life, mister. Yeah. Life of Los Santos, land of opportunity, hmm? Exactly, exactly. You want to be hands-on. Mm-hmm. Question, Sergio. I know you're trying to keep low-key, but are you... Are you planning to buy a house anytime soon? No. Okay. Unless I have a good reason to. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. I might, uh, you might need it for the ganja, because, uh, your apartment might not, uh, especially if you figure out how to use the, the fans and the heat and all that shit. Mm. Um, make sure you're not using too much electricity, okay? Oh. How comes? I was told on the streets, if you use over, uh, 20 kilowatts, the police might start investigating. Ooh. I don't know how true that is. I don't know if uh, anyone's uh, actually been uh, had the police knocking on their doors, but um, from a couple uh, couple big dogs in the game who work with the ganja, that is the word on the streets, you know. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming once you have a house, it would be normal. You know, the bigger your house is, the more kilowatts you would mm. use. You know. Well, mister, when it comes to Sergio, I'm old fuck, okay? I'm like 55 years old. 
I've always been a big believer in treating Los Santos like a marathon instead of a sprint race. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to a house, I probably will not have one for months. Yeah. But with that being said, if I find a familiar, maybe we, we put the monies together and buy a house. I don't know. I've yeah. not really been thinking about that too much. No, I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, I feel like without um without people to chip in, it's almost impossible to buy a house unless you're doing grime all day, all night, all day, all night. Which, uh, exactly. Neither as neither. I'm, you know, Sergio. I'm not gonna lie. My boys, they keep telling me, "Let's go do grime." I'm going to the fence. I'm gonna go hand in some grime packages just so that I can get fired. Oh, okay. Hey, I respect that. Yeah. Like I said, Sergio's not a jack of all trades, huh? Mm -hmm. I only have a couple of professions. Hmm? Yeah, Finland. You see the fence guy move, right? No, I haven't. Uh, I call him Mike. Mike. I haven't seen Mike in a while, in a few days actually. But it was okay. quite funny. Uh, I was with a few boys and we uh, robbed the Goma. Oh, Goma, and, yeah. Uh, yes, we robbed Goma, and I kid you not, we went back to the like Mike uh, in like an hour uh -huh. after an hour, and he was waiting there for us. But we caught him off guard, and I think he caught us off guard because we went from the subway. Usually, everyone goes from the street, right? Mm -hmm. But we went up there from the subway, and we caught him off guard. He was there with his fucking shanking out. Hmm? Mm -hmm. right? Yes. Oh, okay. We moved, huh? Yeah. Let's just say he's beneath our feet now. Beneath our feet. Mm-hmm. Hmm. He's hiding from the general population. Good, after all, too many cockroaches in this city probably letting the police know about him, huh? Exactly, and the thing about cockroaches, uh, whenever, uh, whenever, uh, whenever they're in trouble, they go underground. That's true. Mm-hmm. So. Hmm. It was underground, huh? Okay. Yep. In the south side. What about you, Mr. Patar? You and your boys thinking about getting a nice house? I know there's been a few houses that have already been bought. Yeah, I think there's been like six, seven houses gone. Holy moly. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be helping my boys with a couple projects here and there, but... The thing is, Sergio, I... I'm gonna be really distant, if that makes sense, because when I get involved... Ah. People lose motivation. People lose the drive. Because, uh, you know, when, when I have the market, especially with uh, with certain things, you know, people uh, people drift away, you know, and they lose the motivation to want to work, you know? When you're involved? Yeah, because uh, I kind of take over and I, I kind of do everything, you know? Mm, I see. I... But I've always seen you as the leader, to be honest. Yeah. What was the other guy's name? I don't know this name. It was uh, Tommy. Tommy. Yes, I hardly ever met him. Yeah, he wasn't I around always... much. Yes, I always assumed you was the leader, to be honest. Yeah, I was, uh, I was second in command for the longest time, and then things went down, and then boom, bang, bang. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I kind of... It's, I kind of want to watch the boys grow without me, and I'm uh, kind of working on projects on my uh, my side of things. You know, like uh, I love, I always love the boys, but the thing is, especially years ago, when I uh, when I ran things, everyone got lazy, and uh, I kind mm -hmm. of spoon fed everyone. You know, I I made sure everyone was good. I made. Whenever, whenever there was wars, whenever it came to business, whenever it came to this, whenever it came to that, I'd always manage everything, which made everyone lazy, you know? I see. So, well, the good yeah. old saying, when boys turn into men, huh? it's that time. Hmm? Yeah, so I kind of want to just, I'll help them, you know, I'll, I'll be there for them, but I also want to see them spread their wings and fly away, you know? Yes, I'm also a control freak. Mr. Patar, mm -hmm. and uh, I learned maybe in the past year that uh, familiar do not grow, they do not uh, develop 
into smarting ones unless uh, they learn from their mistakes. Yeah, and that's the thing is um, I'm learning from my mistakes and uh, kind of making sure they don't happen twice, you know? Because I don't want of deja course. vu. And uh, the other thing is, but uh, it doesn't matter how smart you try to teach your familiar to be, a dummy is a dummy at the end of the day. Mm. Sometimes doesn't matter how much you're teaching them, they just don't learn. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. But uh, this is my indeed. way of um, kind of letting them spread their wings and fly. And if they mm -hmm. can't fly, unfortunately, they drown. But the thing is, yes. I'm not there to save them, you know? Not that I don't care for them, but that's how you learn. Exactly. Good on you, mister. They need to know this one, hmm? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't lie. I, I, I kind of enjoy, um, you know, being alone. Because I can go spend time with this person, that person, you know, without having the stress and responsibilities of, uh, of a familia, you know? Oh, trust me, I know about that, mister. No, yes. not just subscribe. I miss having Tommy a familiar. There's nothing better, to more knuckle. satisfying than growing together, having a goal, having channel. ambition, and working towards that goal together. Yeah, yeah, and especially having people there that will have your back through thick and thin, you know? Well, it's interesting you say that. When it comes to me, mister, I'm not one that... I don't give fuck who I upset, okay? If I have a familiar and they have my back, I'm willing to do the most craziest shit if it's going to benefit me and my familiar. Mm -hmm. That's what you need. You need a good, strong familiar that, you know, you don't need to impress anyone. You don't need to show off to anyone. As long as you're there with your familiar and you guys are thriving, that's what matters, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see where things go. Yes, mister. You make sure you keep me updated, huh? 100% Sergio. I'll keep you updated. And if you f discover anything, let me know, okay? Yes, when it comes to this fucking drain rack, do you know, uh, you know, in the catalog, what did this, what the fuck's it called in the catalog? Mm, I'm not sure. Do you sure have any there. ideas? Uh, I have okay. no clue. Let me, uh, let me ask my boy and I'll let you know, okay? Okay, mister, you make sure you call me. Don't text me that shit, okay? No, no, I don't do that. I don't do that. Okay, good, good. Yeah, good. yeah. Also, um, be careful with uh, who you talk to. I know you're, uh, you're, uh, you keep your circle tight, but, um, police are paying really well for, uh, CIs right now. Oh. Um, they found out the homeless guy is not homeless. And, uh, just be careful when you're buying stuff, okay? Mm. Okay, yes. Well, uh, I would say I'm surprised, but to be honest, I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm not surprised either. Everyone in the so, mom, so you know? a dog eat dog world. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Five will have the fittest. Exactly. So be careful out there. Hey, okay, Mr. Pata, you too, okay? Of course. And we'll be in touch, Sergio. Take care. Yes, have good 